Hi everyone, welcome to this uh, meditation. Today I want to do a meditation with you on uh, the solstice that's coming in, uh, in a few days, at the end of winter. It's a new cycle for the Earth to come around the Sun. And so it's a very auspicious time to uh, focus on the things we want to let go and the things we want to plant. So I invite you, if you have some sage, to do like me, to use some sage to uh, sage yourself, to remove uh, any negative energy, negative emotions, to get grounded into your body. So sage yourself and find a good seated position. And uh, Put your shoulder a little bit back, open your chest a little bit, and just start putting your attention and your focus on your breath. The goal of meditation is to bring the mind or the attention or awareness onto the present moment. And the body being always in the present, in the ear, in the now is the one that we're using to focus on so we are sure that our mind our awareness doesn't go somewhere else so every time you maybe pull away by some thoughts uh, just bring back slowly your attention to your breath and first start taking a deep breath into your nose and exhale through your mouth And feel your body as you do that. Take another deep breath in and send that breath deep, deep inside your chest and open your chest as you breathe in. And take a third deep breath in and this time send your breath all the way down to your fingertips and all the way down to your toes. And watch your breath. Maybe you can feel the movement of your chest going up and down. Maybe you can feel the air coming in and out of your nostrils. Just bring your attention in the present moment and on your breath. And I'm going to invite you in this meditation to go back to the essence and to the source that's inside of you. And to do that, I'm going to ask you to start visualizing your life today. Visualize your friend, your family, maybe the home or the apartment you live in, your emotions at the moment and how you're feeling your body, your mind. And start looking back because we're going to start taking a little walk together back in time. So think about last year and where you were last year, maybe a year ago, you were in a different relationship, in a different job, in a different place. Maybe you took a new job, you celebrated something with your family and your friends. So go back a year ago. And slowly start moving your mind back in time more. Look at five years ago. And you remember where you were, what you were doing, where you were living, which relationship you were in, which job you had, maybe it's the same as today, maybe it shifted, it changed. Look at the younger version of yourself. 
and continue going back in time, maybe at the time you were at university or college. Maybe it's big travel back in time. And look at the person you were at that moment. The emotion you had, maybe the hopes, the thoughts, the vision for your life. What you wanted to create, to do. And continue going back in time now to your teenagers. Those teenage years were, were 14, 15, 16. Or maybe thinking what you were going to do in life. Maybe you were experiencing your first relationships. What was your relationship with your parents, your family and your friend at the time? Where were you living? Why did you travel? Take a moment to stay with that younger version of yourself. And continue going back in time, maybe in your preteen years when you were seven, eight, nine, ten. The younger you and your parents and your family, your friend at the time. What you like to do which games, where did you go on holidays, your dreams, your vision at the time. And now go back into even younger age, when you were only a few years old, you were very young, one, two, three, Maybe you live in a different place. You can see your parents, your family, the people that were taking care of you, your relatives. And now go back to the first few days of your life. And you can imagine yourself in the crib, maybe with your parents looking at you, or your relatives, your family, that were coming to visit your, your parents and see this newborn baby. You are starting to know the life on earth again. Starting to grow, to eat for the first time. And go back now to the moment of your birth. Maybe the first breath you took. Where were you born? Maybe the emotions of your mother or your father or your relatives at the time when this birth was happening. And continue going back in time now inside the womb of your mother. Feel yourself inside the warm water, inside the body of your mother, getting ready to come out during those nine months. Maybe you could hear some sounds or see some lights a little bit, some vibration. You could hear the voice vibrating of your mother and the water you are swimming in. And continue going back in time to the moments where the first cell that was going to become you appeared. Where the meaning of your mother and your father DNA created this new body this new life. Created in love, in light, in infinite potential of growth, infinite potential of creation. Connect with that infinite abundance that is possible 
of the being of life. And now maybe take an even bigger leap in time and see your soul that was coming in looking for a family and the soul that traveled before in other lives that experienced so many things the good and the bad as we call them that grew that learned and has coming back to learn new things experience new things continuing expanding continuing learning continuing growing as a soul And go back to the moment of creation where all the souls are created into love and light in an explosion of love, in an explosion of light. And the source that is ultimately what you are. So we are approaching the equinox, spring, tomorrow, which is a time where the earth just went around the sun and starting a new cycle. It's a time of new beginning. It's also a time of letting go, of looking at the harvest of what we had seen, had lived, had experienced in the past year. So bring to your attention, maybe the things that you want to let go in your life. The places where maybe you've seen you could grow more, there is more space for growth, for love, for light. And imagine that you're gathering in your hands little seeds that you're preparing for spring that you want to plant. The seeds that you would like to plant as a gardener, as a farmer, to put in the soil and grow in. Any gardener will spend the time in winter to prepare for spring. And we can do the same with our lives. So now, imagine that you look at your hand right now and you have all the seeds. And with intention, with wisdom, start picking the seeds you want to plant in this new year, in this equinox. Do I want to plant more gratitude? Maybe more self-love? more joy, more abundance, more authentic friendship, more peace. What do you want to plant in your life? Look at the seeds in front of you and carefully select the one you want to grow. Like a gardener, in your mind, imagine what can grow from the seed you're going to plant. What do you want to harvest this year? Maybe there is in the seeds, gift of God, gift of the universe, what we call our gift, what we're good at. But maybe there is also things we don't know yet. So maybe pick some of those mysterious, magical seeds. The one that open us to possibility, that open us to the gift of the universe, that open us to the gift of God, the surprise that might happen this year. And when you're ready, pick up the seeds, and imagine a very fertile soil in front of you 
and the earth, a very dark, moist soil. And with your finger, start making some holes in the soil, pushing the soil on the side, and start putting the seeds you've selected in the soil, one by one. I want to plant more self-love. I want to plant more authenticity. I want to plant more peace. I want to plant more trust. I want to plant more abundance. What do you want to plant in your garden? Pick the seeds and plant them. Visualize yourself putting the seeds in the ground. And when you put the seed after, cover it with a little bit of soil and put a little bit of water from a nearby river. Or maybe just wait for the rain to calm and water the seeds. Take them one by one. Visualize them, look at them, touch them. They have all the potential to grow anything you want. So choose wisely. What do you want to grow? And now that you're done planting the seeds, I invite you to take your two hands and to put them in your heart, on your heart, on your chest. And feel that the garden is inside your heart, inside your chest, all those little seeds you have planted. You're holding them inside your heart, inside your breath. And that all your guides, your angels, your archangels, your ancestors, your power animals are all helpers to attend the garden. They're all going to help you to grow the seeds. But you as a gardener, you are the one that choose what to put in the soil. You are the one that every day need to come and attend and nurture the seeds. Will you take care of them every day? Will you remember what you have planted? Will you water each of them? Would you be mindful to make sure you only grow what you truly want to harvest? Feel that huge infinite garden inside your heart with the soil rich of the wisdom and the light of Mother Earth and the universe, ready to grow your vision, to grow your desire, to grow anything you have planted. Feel that beautiful spring garden that is going to start growing with the equinox as the day is becoming longer than the night, as more light is going to enter our heart. Feel all the seeds that are going to grow new plants, new fruits. Maybe you're going to harvest more joy because it's what you planted. More abundance, more authenticity, more self-love, more self-care, more surrender, more trust. So the next few days, I invite you to go back to that garden because like normal seeds, the little seedlings are very fragile and they need a lot of attention the first few weeks, the first few months when we plant them before they become strong enough and big enough.
So I invite you in the coming days to attend to them, to nurture them, to remember the name, to remember where you planted them, to remember what they feel like, what they look like. And like a gardener, to be excited, waiting for the first leaves to come out of the soil and grow inside your heart. I invite you as we path the equinox tomorrow on Monday and in the coming days to spend a lot of time with your garden. It's a very auspicious moment where a lot of energy shift is happening on the earth. And you can use that energy to make your garden strong, beautiful, joyful, full of love, full of care, full of peace. And you can bring your hands back on your lap and feel the sensation inside your chest, inside your heart. Maybe you're feeling lighter, you're feeling hopeful, you're feeling more peaceful, you're feeling more light with all the things you have planted. And feel your breath moving your chest and your heart and that breath that is starting to nourish what you have planted. So before we end this meditation, I really invite you to try to see in the coming days which garden you want to grow this year, to plant. What is it going to look like compared to last year? What are things you planted but you didn't really like last year? Maybe some self-judgment, this voice inside our head, some fear, some separation some pain and see how different this garden is going to be because of your intention and your care and your love. See how different the harvest is going to be. So I invite you now to take a deep breath in and to send that breath onto your garden. And out. I take a couple more deep breaths in and out to send the oxygen and life onto the seeds. Now slowly come back to your body, to the room around you. Maybe you hear some noise around or cars or birds. And feel the treasure that's now inside your heart. That beautiful garden of bounties, of great divine gift that are going to grow and remember to come back often to take care of the seeds of the little trees of the little plants that are going to come out of it. And when you're done, open your eyes, take a few deep breaths in. I thank you for joining the meditation today. I hope you enjoy it. And I look forward to uh, another meditation next week. And maybe we'll see what you have planted and we start seeing what is going to grow. So have a wonderful day.